If your idea of adventure is narrowly defined as a young person screaming down a mountain on a bike or bungee jumping off a cliff, I invite you to consider a much broader perspective. I believe life itself is an adventure and it's how you plan for your next adventure or how you deal with some of life's curveballs that make up the wonderful stories that create your life's book and memories. Adventure can mean so many things and it may be different for each person. But either way, either way, as Ellen Geller once said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. So join me today as I share some of my adventures, talk about the importance of adventuring, of adventuring in your own life, possibly broaden your perspective a bit, and hopefully inspire and challenge you to get out there and try something new. Welcome to Life Reimagined with Wendy. I believe we were fortunate to grow up in a unique time in our culture that is helping shape our lives over the age of 45. We are redefining what our lives are like today and pushing the boundaries of what a 45-year-old, a 50-year-old, a 65-year-old, or years young and true adventurer really looks like. Many of us are newly blazing trails and carving out our own purpose-driven path forward. Yep, there have been many unexpected road twists that helped you get here today, but many times these turn out to be blessings. They help you more clearly define what you want. So join me for insights and interviews that show you can face these unexpected challenges and you can come out on the other side stronger and happier. You can make your best days ahead and you can reimagine your next. I know, I get it. You're in the middle of your work day, you're running around doing errands, or you're trying to care for your older children, or maybe your aging parents. Your work environment has possibly totally changed, and everyone's schedules have been jacked with over the past few months. Lots and lots of change that we've had to deal with, and you may not have even been able to handle your daily exercise or uh, responsibilities like you want to. It can be overwhelming and it can be draining, so what are you doing about it? It might be hard to think about finding time in your schedule, but what are you doing to satisfy your need to nurture you and nurture your soul in the middle of all of this? Jamie Lynn Beatty is a music musical artist I'd never heard of, but I agree with her statement that jobs fill your pockets, but it's soul adventures that fill your soul. I'll talk a little bit broader about a definition for adventure, but for now I want to stick with the importance of living adventurously. Because it can be easy to become complacent and just react and try to keep up with your hamster wheel life, but if you keep going on this pace and don't do something to adjust it or fix, do you really want to look back years from now and only reminisce about keeping a house clean or meeting those work deadlines? You know, getting outside or doing something you consider adventurous means you get into something that takes your focus off of all the other stuff. All the nonsense and all that in the end really doesn't matter much. And hopefully lose yourself in the moment. You have fun, you may feel challenged, and sometimes you feel accomplished. But whatever you feel afterwards, most of the time you're very glad you did it. And come to think of it, I don't know that I've ever heard myself say, I regretted the decision to adventure or to try something new. So going back to a previous podcast message to live curiously, I hope you also don't underestimate the power of positive living and productive living in your adventurous life. Because for me personally, every time I feel like I'm out adventuring, I feel like a young kid on the playground or in the park. I feel youthful, I feel confident, and I feel alive. I feel as though I can breathe again and enjoy my time with family and friends. I can enjoy the beauty around me and then I can much more easily forget or ignore the many traumas of daily civilization, of the traffic delays or running out of toilet paper or whatever mini daily hiccup that could turn into a big fire, maybe. By nurturing your soul and mental health, you become more grounded and reminded of your life's priorities and the rest of the stresses really don't end up becoming a major issue. Now, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but for me, I know it makes a huge difference in my ability to handle the hiccups and daily fires of life. So what do you think about when I talk about living adventurously? 
especially for those of us in our 40s or 50s or more. For some, it may mean an activity with a bit of risk or something on their bucket list. So President George Bush, the first one, celebrated every fifth birthday after his retirement by skydiving, by jumping out of a perfectly good and working airplane with a parachute. He completed a solo parachute jump near his presidential library in Texas even when he turned 75. So his last skydive took place on his 90th birthday in 2014, despite the fact he was confined to a wheelchair and could no longer walk, which is just awesome. I don't know yet that I'll add adjective of skydiver to my life resume, but I respect and love that he never appeared to lose his sense of adventure, even when he was unable to walk on his own. Personally, I love almost any activity out in nature. This is my sanctuary and where I'm willing to challenge myself a bit. I'm gonna share a bit about what I consider adventuring for me, but then share other ideas of adventuring that may surprise you. If you've been around to hear my stories or had a chance to visit my YouTube channel, you'll quickly learn that I love being an athlete and playing outside. But there's one sport that's proven to be the most adventurous for me, and that's mountain biking. I grew up a swimmer and very grateful that my parents supported my love of being active through my life. I've tried many sports, but really didn't give mountain biking a try until I moved out to Colorado, a geography that actually had mountain bike trails. <laughs> well, this was wonderful and I was very excited. I would say that starting any mountain bike career in your 40s, which is considered a more advanced age in the mountain biking world, has proven to be a bit more challenging than I expected and probably a bit more challenging compared to what many others experienced. But still, I'm very grateful that I can ride a mountain bike and that I have a chance to spend time pedaling on some of the most beautiful trails I've ever seen in my life. I can continue biking in the mountains and near the wildflowers and lakes, hopefully for many years to come. I know that as I age and in time, I'll have to scale back and take easier trails and that's okay. I just wanna know that I'm able to use the time I have now when I can do these things to get out there when I can. The beauty of the sights, the smell, the wonderful smell of the forest and the quiet and still, still sounds only broken up by the sounds of the little mountain stream are too good not to experience. That is soul filling. So what fills your soul? Or have you, what have you looked for and wanted to try but haven't gotten out there? You know, we're not getting any younger and putting something off now means it's gonna be harder to start tomorrow. So what are you waiting for? Are you really okay that you may never have tried it? When you look back on your life, is there anything worse than thinking, I wish I would have done X? Like, I never, I'd be so bummed to have missed the mountain biking. And now it doesn't have to be mountain biking for you, but it can be riding on a bike on the dirt in the woods. It can be walking or hiking on a mountain trail. It can be learning to swim. It can be learning to swim in the ocean. It can be almost anything that gets you moving or active, like ballroom dancing. What about curling? Fencing, joining a bowling league? Now, just because your risk of injury may be perceived to be low, doesn't mean it's not an adventure for you to get out there and try it. And you can also adventure without it being something that's considered only for an athlete. Like what about yoga or Pilates? All of these can be a new adventure and something that helps you feel better physically and mentally, but maybe even feel better emotionally. What about meditation? Now that's a new experience for most. And for some, it can be very intimidating or very difficult to quiet the mind and really focus. What about travel? Visiting another culture and place opens up so much in your world and not only fills my soul, it actually prompts me to want to travel more and more and more and to see all the places I haven't seen yet. You may be considering a career change or expanding your family by adopting. That is a whole other world of adventure. What about cooking? Now this for me is totally adventurous as I was not born with the cooking gene. I thought I was really bad at it and probably considered by many, yes, to be not good at cooking at it. But in the last year, I've become way more risky and way gutsier and tried cooking more. I'm living dangerously and curiously and adventurously right here in my kitchen. So it started when I removed gluten and dairy from my diet and I didn't like the options 
I was finding. So I found and researched recipes and found uh, new recipes that really worked out great. Now I think I'm actually pretty decent in the kitchen and it emboldens me to take even greater culinary risks. So this spring I'm sitting here actually planting my first garden. Ooh, another step forward, very adventurous. I had never, ever, ever thought about starting a garden before. I really thought it was for people older than me. I can always buy what I need. But I was inspired by a few friends and like many fellow Gen Xers do, I googled I watched videos on YouTube and then I decided on the type of garden bed I'd need, the space I'd need, the watering, recommendations on what to plant, blah, blah, blah. I honestly thought the seeds that I planted in my little Dixie cups, sorry, actually my mom started the Dixie cup thing and my dad helped clear the backyard space and then my other friend Zuzana actually found the raised garden bed on Craigslist, so it took a village. But getting back to it, I honestly thought the little seeds that planted in my Dixie cups would never sprout and never yield the awesome vegetables and lettuce and cucumber I'm enjoying this summer. Who knew? I didn't know anything about vegetable gardening and I've had to learn quite a bit. Like I didn't know what, when the cucumber was ready, but it definitely has been an adventure and such a great experience that I'll definitely do it again next year and maybe even more boldly, more adventurously. So let's get back to you. What do you want to try? You've got to define the adventure you want. Only you know your risk tolerance. Each of us has our own perspective of what risk really is. For me, cooking is way more dangerous than any stunt I could try while on a mountain bike trail. But for you, cooking might be a breeze and you have no desire to get out on a mountain bike trail. Now that would be a shame and I'll come back to that and hopefully inspire you to try biking on a dirt trail at least once in a future episode. But the reality is, you can get hurt, physically, mentally, trying anything. Yes, some activities may seem more likely to, car to cause harm, but honestly, even though I've fallen off bikes and snowboards and who knows what else, one of the worst injuries I ever had was twisting my ankle while walking the dog on the sidewalk. So, this is something we do have to watch a bit more carefully now compared to when we were, say, 25, 29, 36, you have to prepare and possibly act a bit more cautiously. For example, I'm adding knee pads to my mountain biking attire. So lovely. Uh, and I'm a wussy with very, very thick oven mitts getting items out of the oven. But it doesn't mean you have to avoid it completely. Avoiding something completely or not trying it means you are actively making the choice to miss it in your life. And as we're getting older, it's going to be harder in the future. Our bodies may not function as well in 10, 20, or 30 years. So now's the time to think about it and do something about it. Think about what you'd be most sad about or most bummed that you never tried. Especially when you're hopefully in your 80s, 90s, maybe hundreds, looking back on your life. I know time on this earth is precious and I'm gonna get out there and keep trying new things and travel to new places and, and experience new things. Because if you've ever asked me years before, I never thought I'd be a gardener, never thought I'd be a snowshoer, a mountain gal, who knew, an ice climber, a car camper, a cook, well, a decent one at least, or heck, even a podcaster. So what new adventure are you wanting to try and are willing to commit to plan to today? What label are you considering adding to your life resume? I hope you'll go check out my corresponding adventure pictures and posts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube and comment, or better yet, post a picture of your adventure or adventures. Keep them coming. Are you gardening? Are you out on a trail? I posted pictures of my garden on Instagram and the challenge in my Facebook group this week is about defining your next adventure. So go over and comment. And I hope today you remember the importance of adventuring in your own life. I hope that I've possibly broadened your perspective a bit and inspired you to identify what adventure you'll plan next. And then really that you'll get out there and try it, to get out there and try something new. I love reading and sharing wisdom of others. So I'm gonna to close today with a message from the very intelligent Dr. Seuss. You're off to great places, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Thanks again for listening. Remember, it's never too late to plan your next adventure. 
Keep sharing your adventures with our Destination You community and keep focused on you and your priorities and the key steps that you'll take today to make today and tomorrow your best next.